everyone, my name is Kathy Ekdahl and I'm a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach and a Titleist Performance Institute golf fitness instructor and we're here at the International Golf Club, an absolutely gorgeous facility. It's 72 degrees and there is no perfect day to play golf compared to this day. So I'm here for golfgirls.com and I'm going to show you a few swing faults here um, and how you can correct those or why you might be doing those type of swing faults. So we know that the physical body, flexibility, core strength, balance is absolutely integral to a proper golf swing. One of the problems that we encounter, and I can say I'm a culprit as much as probably many of you are, is something called, called a sway and a slide. So a sway and a slide, um, and I'm going to demonstrate bad technique here, um, a sway and a slide is typically a symptom of hips that are not working properly. So a sway and a slide. Notice how my hips are moving laterally. That's a big problem. Anytime you're moving away from the ball, you're going to have to do a lot of correction to get back to the ball. Also, a sway and a slide creates power leaks. When you're about to hit the ball, you actually want to store the power of the swing in your hips. So if your hips are swaying and sliding, you're going to get power leaks. Now if you're a swayer or a slider, you know that the ball isn't always going to go in the correct direction. So what do we do about that? Well first of all, you have to be able to rotate your hips. So in golf, we do both internal and external rotation of the hips. Sway and slide there's no rotation going on here. Hip rotation are that the hip bones are turning forward and turning back. Now, can you do this? Maybe not. I'm going to show you a little drill to help you learn how to do that. So I'm going to actually put my club down. And if you've seen some of our videos before on golfgirls.com, this is going to look familiar to you. I'm going to get out of dress. I'm going to get into that nice posture, a nice straight back, neither extended nor rounded, and I'm going to bring my arms across my chest. The first question that I have for you is, can you rotate your shoulders without moving your hips? So here, I'm rotating my shoulders, and my hips are still. That's a very important part of the golf swing because on the backswing, on the takeaway, the shoulders need to rotate, the hips need to maintain their stillness. Second part of this test, get back into your dress, arms crossed over your chest. Now can you rotate your hips without your shoulders? Okay, this is actually kind of hard for me. I am not the most flexible person in the world, but you can see my hip bones are shifting forward and back. So, if you have trouble with that drill, and especially if you're trying to concentrate on the hip rotation, which is going to prevent slide and sway, anchor yourself here, just like I did initially. Now, by putting pressure into the club, I'm stabilizing my upper body and my core. And now, look at the rotation I have. It's really nice. I'm shifting the weight to the inside of my foot to the outside of my foot. And I have a little bit too much movement in my legs. Remember, we don't want to have the legs do too much. But by anchoring yourself with the club, you can learn to isolate your hip turn. So that's a tip I have for you. If you're a slider or a swayer, work on that drill, and it will greatly improve your ability for your hips to turn. So again, my name's Kathy Ekdahl. My business is Personal Best Personal Training, and I'm a TPI certified golf fitness instructor. And I'm lucky to be here today with golfgirls.com on this beautiful day at the International Golf Club.